very sweaty. It's because we've smashed it. You said we were going to do winter mode. This ain't winter mode. This has been hard and it's been uphill the whole way. Huh. Did you make a route with loads of hills in it? I haven't made a route. Are you going to make up a route that's really flat? <laughs> in my head, yeah. yeah. You're eating already. You're saying I'm struggling, you're eating. You're I've, eating I've ridden a lot further than you. It's, not, it's, not, it's through London, you're like two miles an hour. In distance. It's two like, miles an hour? It's like, it's like 1k. I had to I, I had to get from Stoke Newington to Roehampton Gate in like 40 minutes. Yeah, I know it's nice. They won't let you up there. I upgraded because they turn out that I was really fancy now. <laughs> there you go. Oh. What the fuck does that say? Going to come here twice today. Is that right? That's fine. Because Ben needs to refuel. Yeah. Like no, it's my day. I was very grateful. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it meant that you made my cup with more love than you made with Francis. Yeah, it has been a bad one. You're right, mate. No, no, I'm not. All right, that squirrel nearly died because of us, and that would have just been the fucking worst thing ever. That's a new max heart rate. First climb of the day. Ben's been moaning because there's a climb to get to the first climb of the day. It's because it's the same in Essex. A climb to get to the climb to get to the climb. Yeah. So much snot at this time of year. More snot than usual. Yeah. It's, you got a bit on your... You got a bit on yours. So I've chosen the flattest route possible. The criteria was 50 k's flat. From zero, yeah. So I do a thousand meters. I'm too fat for this. I'm Winter Ben. Well, Mr. Ben. Yeah. Do you know Mr. Ben? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he used to go into his wardrobe. Come out in fancy dress. Fancy dress shop, mate. Yeah. Magic shopkeeper. Yeah. Yeah. In a wardrobe. Yeah. That's what I just said. No, you said it his wardrobe. Yeah. That's different. So I stopped for a little rest. There's a lot of people out in Surrey today. And most of them are not riding in groups of two or less. I feel a bit disappointed. You've been shouting at them. I have been shouting at them. Which I think is the right thing to do. Call them out. There's a guy on tri bars as well, which is nothing wrong with. But on a group ride, when you shouldn't be doing a group ride, maybe it's a bit. I think maybe the, it's wrong. The group, the, there was a group of about six or seven stood on one corner waiting for one guy to do a puncher. You shouted at them real loud. Yeah, I did. Yeah, because if you're in a group of more than two, then you're breaking the rules, and that is the rules. Just stick to them. Don't be a twat. Chicken didn't like that. That was actually a crow. It yeah, wasn't a chicken. No. What the fuck's wrong with you? Do you remember last time when I rode with you and we did a poll underneath? We asked your followers to. We asked them who was uh, who they would trust more, me or you. And they seem to actually favour you, which you know I haven't forgotten. Can I ask your followers to comment below if they would know the difference between the noise that a crow makes and the noise that a chicken makes to see whether or not you are in a minority? That's reasonable. I won't, I won't censor you. Yeah, you can ask him whatever you want. Well, within reason. Yeah, don't do that. Right. Hi, mate. Didn't say hi. See, well, this road's good. This road, we've only seen people on my right. Seen because yeah. they know the Surrey Hills more. I don't know where we are. How far was that? That kilometer? 200 meters. <laughs> Some of that trail. Like, you got, you got just, a bike to test. That is true, I have got a bike to test. But some of that I would have felt relatively uncomfortable at times on 38 mils. I might be being a bit dramatic just for the sake of this video, but you're an idiot. So. 
I've bonked. Yeah, you have. And yeah. yes, if they want to sponsor, yeah. 100%. What happened whilst we were riding, Francis? Did you have to say, do you mind if we roll quite slowly up this road? No, that was just so I could put food in my mouth. Oh, okay. It wasn't... Because your legs were shaking. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. that. Because we could have stopped at that petrol station. No. The pe you mean the petrol station of shame? Your hair's doing some weird shit. How's it looking? Like you've had a haircut from yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're that's gonna... not okay. That's not okay. There's two separate groups in there. No. That's two. That's two groups of a five and a four, and that's not okay. Like, I appreciate that people are really struggling with COVID and lockdown rules, but like, do we want do we want drivers on the road to have more reason to fucking have a go at us? Like, we don't need that. Just stop riding in groups of more than two. Look how good he is. He's on his own. Good man. That's that's what we really should be doing. Well, I would actually, being on the bike would probably be better. Well, it depends um, how fast Maybe it's the new thing, we're missing out. Dress in cycling kit, put your shoes on, get your bike and then just walk down the road with it. So you look- They're going well, look, there's another lady coming the other way doing the same thing. There's two. This is a thing. This is a new trend. Is, I'm trying to think of other trends that have happened recently. The only thing that I can think of is, um, Punk, 1976, Manchester Lesser Free Trade Hall. You know what? I couldn't have put it better myself. Just follow the rules, because cyclists have a hard enough time already. Just at least be seen to be making an effort, because it puts everybody into a difficult position. It doesn't really matter if you agree with the rules or not. We have a hard enough time out on the roads already. Speaking of roads, Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be meeting up with Callum from the London Cycling Campaign, and we're gonna highlight a bit of a problem, which is local to me, Richmond Park and the rat run that it's become. Um, we're also gonna check out some local cycle infrastructure around the area on a bit more of a positive note, but certainly the park needs to be looked at. There's been a huge push from London Cycling Campaign to try and get these parks, the Royal Parks, close to traffic, or at least some kind of compromise to make things safer for people, because at the moment, it's dangerous. So we're gonna head over there Monday morning and uh, see what it's like at rush hour. I already know it's uh, gonna be carnage. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.